everybody and welcome back to another episode of So Inspire Me. It's your girl, Phoenicia. I'm going to make this video quick. I'm going to do um, my version of the face mask. I know there are a lot of videos out there and um, it can be a bit overwhelming if you're trying to learn how to do it. I'm trying to make this video short and sweet and simple. So stay tuned. Six inches by the, uh, by six inches this way. So, um, my measurements for the mask will be 9 by 6. And so, I kind of take, I don't really, like, I'm going to, even though it's a little over 9 inches, I just leave a little bit of room just for error. So, I'm going to cut it right here. All the way down all right I know you guys can't see on here the measurements but um, I'm gonna go to like I'm gonna go to nine and I'm going to cut it straight down here using the rotary cutter um on the video on one of these videos I think I showed you guys about the rotary cutter kit that I bought and I told you I don't know if I did but um the rotary cutter was so dull so I was just like no I'm gonna get friskers it's the best rotary cutter that you can have so um, with on top of the other one and these I see this one is a little I cut them a little bit bigger so that I can just, um, because I was just cutting numerous ones together. So, it's a little bit off. So, let me trim off the edges. A little bit to trim them up. Make them look a little nicer. You don't want it to be too big because it's not going to lay right in your mask is going to be uneven so trim off the edges And I hope you guys can see. I know you probably can't see. So when you do, if you're doing a three layer, this is a three layer mask. So if you're doing a thing, three layer, you can follow these instructions. If you're not, then you can kind of get the gist of it, or you can watch another video because I'm going to do other videos about how to do other masks. So this pretty much fits. So what you're gonna do is have these two together. Um, I know you know that most of the elastic is not in the stores. Um, they, they basically sold out of a lot of elastic. So a lot of the stores have the um, big elastic bands so you can still use these what you're going to do is cut them in half or cut them in thirds cut them some kind of way so that you can make more um of the ear pieces so um that's what i'm going to do i'm going to split this in threes so that we can put it around the ear and um it works just as well i haven't had any issues with um people complaining about it so I'll be right back oh another thing I wanted to add was um, they need to be seven inches long so I'm going to measure them first seven inches and cut it And I'm going to make this into um, three. 
Because I feel like it's big. If it's in, if it's two, I think it's big. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm doing three. You don't want it to be too big over your ear. Okay, when you're cutting your elastic, make sure you take all the little, the little edges off. Because eventually that's going to peel off whenever you split it like that. So make sure that it's off. And once you, once you got everything off, it's not going to do it anymore. So, and it'll be fine after that. So I end up making three straps. Well, three um, ear pieces. Let me finish cleaning this up. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's just to um, make sure that you get all of the little loose pieces off of there. Okay, my baby wants to have it. So, there you go. It's three pieces. About one inch in on the on the shorter side. Now this is the this is the nine inch side. On the six inch side, about one inch or one well two inches in. So on the second square, I put the elastic on that on that line. So let me bring the camera once I measure it right quick. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. You see, about two inches in, I'm putting the elastic. So that's why I'm going to pin. I'm actually going to pin that. I'm going to pin the elastic onto the two layers that's on here. All right, as you can see, I pin it so that it can wrap around. Make sure it's wrapped around right. And then I pinned it on this side too. And when you measure that, it's like two inches away from it as well. So two inches on, on both sides. And then you do the same over here. And pin this other end. Okay, so after you finish with that, this is what it should look like. And I'm just going to let you see the measurements again, just in case. See, it's over the 9 by 6, okay? Still should be 9 by 6. And then you're going to put your lining fabric over it. Now, here is where I put, like, a few pins. I'm not going to pin it all the way around like you would normally do if you were doing, like, a shirt or something like that. But, um... I am going to kind of like pin it so that it can be kind of stable going through um, the machine. So you're going to take your lining piece and then you're going to pin it however you feel comfortable doing it because you're going to sew all the way around and you're going to leave like a two inch gap, about this much of a gap after you sew it all the way around. So you're going to start from you can start from wherever you want to start from and you can leave the gap wherever you need to but you need to have a gap so you can turn this inside out so you can do it um, from here to here and then go all the way around to here and then leave that gap right here when I'm sewing the um, mask I you see that one fourth right there? I'm kind of like having it aligned. That's where that's the that's the um, measurements of where I'm sewing it at. So some people are doing um, less than that, but I'm doing one fourth. See, there's a, another one fourth right there. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in. There we go. So. I'm kind of like right there. So that's where I'm I'm sewing it. All the way around the mask. 
and let me see if I can set my camera up. fabric <laughs> so I'm starting off on the six inch side as you can see um, the elastic is on the side so here I go I would back stitch a little bit there goes the camera I will back stitch a little bit and then go on from there. And I think I'm coming up on a pin, so I let my pins out kind of in advance like that and just hold my finger on it. And I backstitch over the elastic to make it a little bit more sturdy because that is the most one of the most active parts of your mask simply because you're wearing it around your ears and you're talking and you're making it move and things like that so fourth inch of room while the needed needle is still in the fabric I just take up the take up lever and just turn the fabric around you're not turning anything else around I'm gonna go down just a little bit more one more stitch all right the needle is back in the fabric sorry guys the needle is back in the fabric so and what I do is just turn it around and it's called pivoting or pivot and I put the presser put back down and I'm going to sew down the 9 inch side Okay. I know you guys probably cannot see, but this is not a tutorial about how to sew. It's about how to do the mask. If you want to know, if you want videos on how to sew, I will have plenty of videos for you to watch. And I kind of put my pin, this one I kind of put my pins at. I only put two. So that um, it can kind of line up together. Properly. And I'm back at another corner. So about one fourth inch of the way. I take it while the needle is still in the uh, fabric. And you continue to sew. Take this pin out. Go over the elastic. Put it back to go the elastic. And back again. And then we got one more pin to take out. Again. And back again. All right, and then while the needle is still in the fabric, I'm taking out this last pin right here. You probably didn't see that, but and I told you I was going to leave. Backstitch at that gap. Okay. 
take it off. Now, if you know something about sewing, you would know that you would um, actually see I left that gap in there and this is on the nine inch side because I find it easier to um, flip it over whenever you do that for, guys, for you guys who sew and know but there are some people that don't so I'm going to give you this tip just kind of cut your corners like this and then trim off some of the edges it makes it easier to flip to turn it on the right side whenever you do that so kind of trim off the edges and on the corners make a quick diagonal snip like this but don't cut the the uh, the the seam of course don't cut the thread and then just go around it and just trim off because it's a lot more fabric and just trim off the corners so it's going to look like this of course and then what we're going to do is turn it put your fingers in here and we're going to pull it apart like this you see that elastic coming out of there and here we go what did I let the elastic is it's very sturdy I kind of checked that just to make sure because sometimes you think you sold over something and you didn't and the elastic fell out that has never happened but <laughs> and what I'm doing is using my little pick-me-up thing from the Cricut or well the silhouette and I'm just gonna poke on these edges to make them the corners make them come out see like that see how it's like this so what you're gonna do is just take it take something and poke it you can use a pen a pencil I mean if you mark in it nobody's gonna see that so you could take this and poke out those edges and see, I made it easier when I snipped the corners. So this is how it's gonna look once you are. So this was the piece that I was talking about and you don't have to be perfect with it I just want it to be a little bit flatter so it can make it easier to sew and I iron with my heat press I'm pretty sure you guys do the same thing if you have one it does wonders so now that it's flat I'm going to top stitch all the way around here and I'm well I'm going to close the hole up first so just going to take it and do a stitch across here actually I'm going to do a little fancy stitch I feel like doing, I'm being fancy so I'm going to do a little fancy stitch from right here to right here to close up this hole what you do is you take this it's like this whenever you get it 
and you just tuck it in. Make sure it's all going one way. Don't have this going this way and this going this way. You're going to have to have it all going one way and make three folds and pin it down, sew it down, I mean, um, iron it down so that it can lay as flat as possible and be able to go through your machine. I broke one of my needles because it was too thick on one of my, um, on one of my masks when I first started sewing. Let's see if I can hold this camera with one hand and then hold this fabric. Let's go see how this works. <laughs> Because I really want you guys to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Go slow because it kind of, since it's not pinned, it can kind of make the pieces run together. Alright. And you really don't need to do a, um, Backstitch unless you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah. So that is that. Take this up. And you just sew a line right there. Clip this in off. All right, now I'm doing the other side. I already did some of it. I wish this camera would focus. All right. All right, so this is the outcome. You see, I did the bottom stitch as well. So I just did it. Just one little stitch across the bottom. So when you put your mask on, you're gonna just take the over the middle part and put it over your nose. And this is the outcome of it. Very quick and simple. I know it's probably took longer for this video, of course, because I'm trying to hold the camera and then um, hold the mask and make sure that's right too. But it's really simple. It takes maybe about um, 10 minutes. It just depends. So if you want to see how I do some other types of masks, stay tuned to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Make sure you share the video so that others can see how to make them. Um, 